Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to Bolt Banter. It's your boy Curtis. Hey, and it's Kendrick. We're live from Chargers Park because we're going to be talking about Saturday. More on that later. Yeah, so we're going to talk about some news real quick this week for the Chargers. Um, the first thing is Melvin Gordon being brought up in national news about his micro fracture surgery. Kendrick, do you want to tell us more about that? Yeah, so basically, back in January, Melvin Gordon uh, secretly had micro fracture surgery. Uh, the surgery came up a lot. It's the reason Miles Jack fell because they were scared that he was going to have to have it. Um, and it scared a lot of people. It had headlines. You know, Melvin Gordon had micro fracture surgery. It's a four to six month recovery window. The fact that he had it in January means that he'll be ready for training camp. Uh, his recovery ends in July. And so after a lot of dissection, basically what happened is uh, Melvin Gordon had um, I guess holes drilled in his knee is the easiest way to say it. That's, that's how the surgery works. Yeah, and then you kind of repair, car you lose cartilage in there, but you're kind of trying to repair it. You're trying to save your knee. Um, and a lot of that might be due to Gordon not being able to have power. Um, is it a lingering injury from college? I think that's one of the things they were talking about. It's possible. Um, but one, a couple indications that we shouldn't be too concerned. I mean, it is a surgery, nothing to be uh, you know, too unconcerned about, but all signs point to they think he's going to make a full recovery. You know, we haven't signed anyone big in terms of running it back. Like it's as minor as a microfracture surgery can be, which is yeah. really good. Like, That's... this is just a procedure just to be like, hey, we don't want to put this off for two to three years. So let's mm -hmm. get it done now. It was done by professionals, and the Chargers basically made the biggest statement of all by not signing a veteran running back. You know, they could have gone out and Arian Foster's still out there on the market. Like, we could have gone and signed a veteran running back like that, but we made a statement saying yeah. Melvin Gordon's going to be healthy by training camp, and him and Danny Woodhead and Brandon Oliver are going to be the guys on our back. Yeah, we don't seem concerned at all, which is good, good to hear good news. Um, we hope this year's better for uh, Melvin than last year. All right, also a big news. Uh, the Bears released the guard center Slauson. Now, recently we drafted Turk, who we thought would be, by default, the new center starting on our team. Um, but this guy Slauson, he has started since 2010 consecutively, and he also played guard four, no, guard 12 games last season and center four games. So this could be some competition for Turk yeah. now. Well, I think it's huge because, like, I've been talking about Jairi Evans from the Saints as a guard for a while. Um, Matt Slauson, the other team that talked about him was the Buffalo Bills. And guess where the Bills wanted to use him? Right tackle. So you talk about Matt Slauson, a guy that can play center, guard, and right tackle. Yep. We're going to use him at center. Creates a little bit of competition for Max Turk. Maybe they realize behind the scenes that he might not be ready by day one. Maybe to create a little competition for the guy, compete with Slauson and Chris Watt. But Slauson's gonna have a place in this line. If if Max Turk is good to go, if our if our guards are good to go, I wouldn't be surprised to see Matt Slauson take over Joe Barksdale at right tackle. Those are my thoughts. He's big enough to do it. But why not have Max Turk play tackle? Yeah, we kind of lucked out because I don't think anyone expected the Bears really releasing him. It was kind of a surprise. And uh, after people had concern about our depth at O line, I think it's. Perfect timing, think, really. Landed I think in it's our, amazing how how much crap people talked about um, Telesco not wanting to draft a tackle, and you look at our line now, and it's like Max Turk and Matt Slauson are there at center. You still have Chris Watt, Trevor Robinson, fully capable of playing the guard spot for Fluker and Orlando Franklin. You got King Dunlap. You got Joe Barksdale. You got Chris Harrison. Like I just named twelve linemen right there for a five-man position. So and we got a couple uh, undrafted. Free agents. Yeah, so, so I mean, they got options, they got moves they're gonna make, and I'm excited to see what they're gonna do. I'm excited to see how the offense lights up. People are excited about Matt Slauson. People are really excited. He's he's proved himself as a, a valuable veteran. All right, so a big reason why we're here at Chargers Park filming is it, filming this episode is that Saturday at 10:15 there will be a public, free to the public, rookie mini camp where us Chargers fans can come check out the new rookies um, basically working out here at the. Chargers Park and the gates will open at 9 15 a.m. and like I said it'll start at around 10 15 a.m. so you definitely want to check that out get a first glimpse of the rookies and it's exciting you know? I want to see Joey Bosa. Bosa I want to see what he does like don't you, don't you all want us to see that aren't you curious I do let's find out come join us pull banter Saturday 10 15 a.m. Chargers Park be there sign the initiative when you come to got to sign that in initiative um, and that's really I think all we have for Chargers news this week yeah that's it uh, please comment below and tell us who you're most excited to see on Saturday from the rookies. Um, I know ours is pretty much Bosa, really everyone, uh, because we're praising our draft. But 
I want to um, see these athletic linebackers we picked up. Yeah. What if what if they work out? What if they work out of a safety this week? What if they do a little we'll bit of secondary competition? We'll see. We'll see Those what's in the free agents, here. This wide receiver out of Penn State we've been hearing things about. Let's see it. Yeah, but just let us know in the comments who you're excited to see uh, this Saturday, what rookies. And um, if, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. We post Chargers videos every week, and we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Also, feel free to follow us on Twitter. Go like us on Facebook. We're growing in the Facebook game now. We're on SoundCloud and iTunes podcast, and we're also on Patreon nowadays, too. So, oh, and Snapchat. Snapchat. Brand new. Yeah. Snapchat. Um, Don't forget about Snapchat. Can't forget the Snapchat. So thank you guys for watching again, and we hope to see you next time or Saturday. Bolt up, San Diego. Later, yo.